Hi there. Today we're embarking on a captivating journey as we step back in time to explore the legendary TV series Walker, Texas Ranger. I'm sure many of you have fond memories of this classic show. Walker, Texas Ranger is a timeless gem that has left an indelible mark on television history. Join us as we relive the magic, revisiting the series with the entire cast, then and now. We'll uncover the original identities and ages of the talented actors from the show and witness how they've transformed in 2023. So, without further ado, let's dive into the world of Walker, Texas Ranger together. Number 1. Chuck Norris as Cordell. Walker, guided by a deep-rooted sense of justice, Cordell Walker's the level-headed figure navigating the winds of life in pursuit of what's right. Raised under the nurturing wing of his Native American paternal uncle, Walker carries the wisdom of his heritage, cherishing the value of every human life and recognizing the enigmatic twists and turns of the cycle of existence. He's the sheriff who walks the line between tradition and contemporary grit, a justice seeker with a penchant for taking matters into his own capable hands. Here's to Walker, the guardian of justice, the wisdom bearer, and the badass sheriff of the modern frontier. Chuck Norris, a martial arts maestro and competitive champion, not only followed in the legendary Bruce Lee's footsteps, but carved his own path to stardom, becoming an iconic action figure on the big screen. His zenith, however, came on the television stage as the star of Walker, Texas Ranger. Early on, Norris left an indelible mark, playing the villain opposite Lee in Way of the Dragon, setting the stage for surprising box office hits like Breaker, Breaker, and Good Guys Wear Black. Entering the studio film arena with silent rage, Norris hit a career peak with Lone Wolf McQuaid. The action-packed Missing in Action and its sequels solidified his status as a cinematic powerhouse. Norris showcased his versatility as a hard-working cop in Code of Silence and once again dominated the box office with Delta Force. His small-screen journey on Walker spanned eight successful seasons, solidifying his status as a beloved television star. Beyond his on-screen feats, Chuck Norris became an internet sensation thanks to the tongue-in-cheek Chuck Norris facts. Through it all, he weathered fame with his trademark good humor. Chuck Norris, a legend in martial arts, a box office powerhouse, and the man who made Walker, Texas Ranger a household name. Cheers to the iconic Chuck Norris. Cordell Walker, played by Chuck Norris when he was 53 years old, and now he is 83 years old. Number two. Clarence Gilliard Jr. as James Trevett. James is not exactly in the league of Cordell Walker or Trent Malloy when it comes to combat, but he's got this unpolished yet seriously powerful fighting style that's like a seasoned boxer in action. His punches and backhand strikes, pure raw power, overwhelming adversaries with an unrelenting ferocity. He's not into flashy kicks. Instead, James is the computer whiz. James is the guy who brings both muscle and brain power to the team. Cheers to his unique blend of brawn and brains. In addition to his iconic role in Walker, Texas Ranger, Chuck Norris delivered memorable performances in two blockbuster films, portraying the terrorist computer expert in the original Die Hard, 1988, and earlier, Lieutenant Marcus Sundown Williams in Top Gun. Even in his mid-sixties, Norris continues his acting career, recently completing a film called The Driver, alongside Revenge of the Nerds' Robert Carradine. Noteworthy recent big-screen appearances include The Beast and The Sector, both 2016, and The Perfect Race, 2019. In his personal life, Norris serves as the consultant of the Communications Committee of the United States Conference of Catholic Bishops. James Trevett played by Clarence Gilliard when he was 38 years old. Sadly, after a long illness, Gilliard died at his home in Las Vegas, Nevada, on November 28, 2022, at the age of 66. Number three, Cherie Julianne Wilson as Alex Cahill, Alexandra Cahill Walker, 
the district attorney in close collaboration with the Texas Rangers, often engaging in post-work conversations at C.D. Parker's. Initially, she stood as Walker's courtroom nemesis, disapproving of the brute force required to bring down the bad guys. However, she eventually succumbed to Chuck's charm, and in season eight, they tied the knot. Alexandra is not just a legal force, but a character whose journey from adversary to spouse adds a dynamic twist to the Walker saga. Cheers to the district attorney who found love in the unlikeliest of places. Cherie Julianne Wilson, a wholesome blonde lead, gained recognition for her portrayals of strong Texas women. Initially, she played the power-hungry April Stevens on CBS's enduring series Dallas from 1986 to 1991. Later, she took on the role of the tough and strong-willed D.A. Alex Cahill opposite Chuck Norris on Walker, Texas Ranger. Born in Minnesota and raised in Colorado, Wilson started her career as a local model in Denver before finding success in TV commercials in NYC, featuring in more than 30 within an 18-month period. Wilson's breakthrough came with the miniseries Cain and Abel and the ABC series Our Family Honor in 1985, where she played Rita Danzig, a mobster's anxious wife. However, her most significant opportunity arose when she joined the cast of Dallas, portraying the scheming bad girl who eventually married Bobby Ewing, Patrick Duffy. Alex Cahill played by Cherie Julienne when she was 35 years old, and now she is 65 years old. Number 4. Noble Willingham as C.D. Parker As a retired Texas Ranger and a trusted confidant of Cordell Walker, C.D. stands as a pillar of knowledge, a reservoir of insights forged through years of dedicated service. His presence within the team is akin to a compass, navigating them through the treacherous terrain of complex cases. With a keen mind and a sharp tongue, C.D. wields his quick wit and sense of humor as weapons, diffusing tension and bringing levity to the gravest of situations. His laughter resonates like a healing balm, a salve for weary hearts. A robustly built and strongly featured character actor, Willingham was highly prolific in both film and TV. He often portrayed authoritative figures and blustery professional types, leveraging his distinctive Texas-flavored image. Hailing from a small Texas town, Willingham initially worked in oil fields as a roustabout and steam fitter. Following college and graduate studies, he pursued a career as a schoolteacher. Willingham's enduring interest in acting led to a small role in the acclaimed TV movie My Sweet Charlie, 1970. Subsequently, when Peter Bogdanovich filmed The Last Picture Show, 1971, in Texas, Willingham was cast in a minor part as one of the locals. Shortly thereafter, he relocated to Los Angeles to further his acting career. C.D. Parker played by Noble Willingham when he was 38 years old. Noble Willingham died of natural causes in Palm Springs, California on January 17, 2004. He was 72 years old. Number 5. Nia Peoples as Sidney Cook Sidney's brain is like a high-powered, truth-seeking missile, cutting through deception's fog and uncovering the buried secrets beneath. Her mind is the North Star, guiding the Texas Rangers through the wild jungle of legal complexities. In a profession dominated by men, Sidney fearlessly challenges the status quo, carving her path with determination and unwavering resolve. She shatters the glass ceiling, leaving a trailblazing legacy for future generations to follow. California born and bred, the multi talented actress Nia Peoples made the most of the versatility afforded by her exotic beauty and contrasting girl next door wholesomeness racking up an impressive number of television credits throughout her career. After guest roles on series including Hardcastle and McCormick, T.J. Hooker, and Tales of the Gold Monkey, and a recurring role on the network's daytime drama General Hospital, the petite, dark-haired exotic beauty shot to fame on fame. For three seasons on the popular syndicated series, Peoples showcased her vocal, dance, and acting talents, portraying the sensitive yet strong-willed performing arts student Nicole Chapman. 
beautiful, brainy, down-to-earth, and kind. Her likable characterization of the high school girl, along with impressive performances in the musical numbers that frequently punctuated the drama series, earned the esteem of viewers. When Peoples' character met a tragic end in a drunk driving accident in 1987, the audience response was overwhelming. This departure marked a significant moment in the actress's career, leading her to make her film debut that same year in the trivial but enjoyable surf drama, North Shore. Charming and well-spoken, the actress was then recruited to host CBS's broadcast of the long-running British music series Top of the Pops in 1987. Her impressive presenting skills continued to shine on the dance music series, MTV's Friday Night Street Party, and the Arsenio Hall-produced late-night nightlife program The Party Machine with Nia Peoples in 1991. Later on, she ventured into a vastly different territory with the PAX TV dramatization series It's a Miracle. Sidney Cook was played by Nia Peoples when she was 38 years old, and now she is 61 years old. Number 6. Judson Mills as Francis Gage. Gage, a ranger with a tough exterior exuding machismo, harbors a genuine desire to assist those in need and uphold justice. Much like his fellow rangers, Trent and Walker, Gage boasts an impressive skill set in martial arts. He maneuvers with the grace of a seasoned fighter, his fists and feet honed to perfection as precision instruments. However, Gage's abilities go beyond mere physical prowess, as he demonstrates finesse in showcasing his kickboxing skills. Francis Gage, portrayed by actor Judson Mills, is Sidney Cook's partner and brings a schoolboy charm to the show. Mills's acting career began in 1990 with six episodes of the soap opera As the World Turns. While some may recall his role as the humorous Hog Ellis in Major League Back to the Minors, the 1998, his portrayal of Gage remains his most significant role to date. Despite this, Mills continues to secure notable parts, including an episode in season one of the HBO drama Westworld. Francis Gage was played by Judson Mills when he was 30 years old, and now he is 54 years old. Number 7. Floyd Red Crow Westerman as Uncle Ray Uncle Ray draws from the deep well of his own experiences, offering a perspective that is both profound and invaluable. Amidst the labyrinth of challenges that beset Walker's path, Uncle Ray's guiding light illuminates the way, leading him towards a higher purpose. With a demeanor as tranquil as a serene lake, Uncle Ray exudes a calm and composed presence that transcends the chaos around him. Like a sage perched on a mountaintop, he imparts his precious pearls of advice, his words resonating with the weight of a thousand lifetimes. Raymond Firewalker, also known as Uncle Ray, served as Walker's paternal uncle. He was a Cherokee Native American who took on the responsibility of raising Walker after the tragic death of his parents. Primarily a political activist, Uncle Ray actively advocated for Native American causes, expressing his support through speeches and participation in marches. He also established a solid career as a country music singer, collaborating with amazing artists such as Jackson Brown and Willie Nelson. In 1988, he landed his first TV gig on an episode of MacGyver. Westerman also had a recurring role on The X-Files. Uncle Ray was played by Floyd Red Crow Westerman when he was 57 years old. Sadly, Westerman died from complications of leukemia at Cedars Sinai Medical Center in Los Angeles on December 13, 2007. He was 71 years old. Number 8. Marco Sanchez as Detective Carlos Sandoval. Detective Carlos Sandoval is the human compass, navigating the twists and turns of mysteries with razor sharp instincts. His mind, as keen as a surgeon's scalpel, dissects evidence and connects dots with surgical precision, shining a light into the darkest corners of criminal minds. Yet what truly sets Detective Sandoval apart isn't just his investigative prowess. It's his unyielding commitment to the cause. 
a handsome American actor of Cuban descent, Marco Sanchez may not be a household name, but he has appeared on an impressive number of television shows, with many recurring roles under his belt. Hailing from sunny Southern California, Sanchez's journey began at UCLA's School of Theater, Film, and Television, where he snagged screen roles even before tossing his graduation cap. The spotlight found him in 1993 when he joined the crew of the adventure series Sequest 2032. But the real deal came with his regular gig on the action-packed hit Walker, Texas Ranger, and a stint on its short-lived spin-off Sons of Thunder. While Sanchez flirts with feature films now and then, it's the small screen where he shines. One-off TV appearances, TV movies, and a 2010 stint on the military drama NCIS kept him in the limelight. He even dipped his toes into the world of the client list right before it bid farewell. Sanchez is making waves in television dramas and proving that the small screen is where he truly belongs. Cheers to the actor who turns every role into a captivating performance. Detective Carlos Sandoval was played by Marco Sanchez when he was 57 years old. He died of blunt force trauma to the head and lower extremities due to a fall from height in Los Angeles on January 30th, 2022, at the age of 82. Number 9. Robert Wall, as Billy Billy, can always be the friend who stands unwaveringly committed to being by your side. They embody loyalty, a rock you can lean on when the world feels like it's crumbling around you. With Billy, solitude is a foreign concept. Their presence is like a breath of fresh air on a stifling summer day, bringing a sense of levity even in the most intense moments. Cheers to the friend who turns every challenge into a shared adventure and every moment into a breath of fresh friendship. Bob Wall, a seasoned actor, left an indelible mark on Hollywood with his appearances in a plethora of action-packed films. His acting journey took off with roles in notable films such as the action classic Enter the Dragon, alongside Bruce Lee and Return of the Dragon in 1973. Throughout the 70s and into the 2010s, Wall maintained a steady presence in the film industry, contributing to projects like the Bruce Lee adventure Game of Death and Chuck Norris's Hero and the Terror. His television credits include a role on Walker, Texas Ranger. In more recent times, Wall was featured in the documentary I Am Bruce Lee, 2012, focused on the legendary martial artist Mickey Rourke. Billy was played by Robert Wall when he was 57 years old. He died of natural causes in Los Angeles on January 30, 2022, at the age of 82. Number 10. Carrie Scott as Wes Tyson. Ever wonder what it's like to have a real-life superhero in the world of law enforcement? Well, meet Wes, the maestro of the crime-fighting symphony. The guy got confidence oozing out like he's got it on tap and competence. That's basically his superpower. Behind that crime-fighting facade, Wes is like a superhero with a heart who has genuine concern for victims and their families. It's not just about catching the bad guys, it's about making the world a better place. So, are you ready for the thrill ride into Wes's world? Because trust me, it's one heck of a roller coaster. Let's unravel the mysteries and rock this crime-fighting party. Carrie Scott was an actor who had a successful Hollywood career. Scott started in the industry by acting in films like the Judd Nelson comedy Making the Grade. He additionally landed roles in the TV movies Not Quite Human, The Corpse Had a Familiar Face, and As Good as Dead TV. He also appeared in Bloodhounds, Home Invasion, and A Thousand Men and a Baby. Several more television roles followed in the 90s and early 2000s, including stints on Snoops, Hunter, and Miracles. His work around this time also included a part on the TV movie, The Lake. He also had roles in film during these years, including appearances in the Jim Carrey smash hit comedy Bruce Almighty and the Chuck Norris family film The Bells of Innocence. In his more recent career, he tackled roles on Boston Legal, 
The Suite Life of Zack and Cody, and Veronica Mars. He also appeared in Big Love, Mad Men, and The Comedians. Most recently, Scott directed the period drama Faith of Our Fathers with Stephen Baldwin. Wes Tyson played by Carrie Scott when he was 35 years old, and now he is 65 years old. Number 11, James Wolchek as Trent Malloy. Trent Malloy serves as a private investigator and is closely associated with Cordell Walker. His proficiency in martial arts is nearly on par with Cordell's. However, Trent has a unique stance on firearms, opting not to carry one. This decision stems from a childhood incident where he accidentally caused the death of another boy during a dispute over a gun. In his investigative endeavors, Trent collaborates with his partner and close friend, Carlos Sandoval. Their dynamic is reminiscent of the camaraderie seen in duos like Starsky and Hutch, contributing to their effective teamwork in solving cases. James Wolchek, also credited as Jimmy Wolchek or Jim Wolchek, is an American actor born in New York City. His acting journey kicked off in 1986 with an episode of Tales from the Dark Side. A pivotal moment came when his audition tape reached the producers of Ryan's Hope, leading him to secure the role of Ben Shelby. While on Ryan's Hope, he showcased his talent in the play Liars by Elliot Myers, directed by Shellen Lubin at the Producers Club Theater. Eight months later, Wolkek took on the role of Link Lafferty on As the World Turns. In 1997, he landed the part of Trent Malloy in a two-hour Walker, Texas Ranger movie titled Sons of Thunder. This role evolved into a recurring one, and Jimmy went on to make guest appearances in several more episodes of the long-running series. In 1999, a spin-off series called Sons of Thunder was created, with Jimmy playing one of the lead roles. Trent Malloy was played by James Wolchek when he was 36 years old, and now he is 59 years old. We reflect on the incredible journey of Walker, Texas Ranger cast from 1993 to 2001. Witnessing their growth and transformations, it's evident that the bond forged during those years has left an enduring legacy. From thrilling highway pursuits to heartwarming moments, these actors brought the California Highway Patrol to life. Their stories continue to resonate with fans around the world. As we explore their then and now, we celebrate the enduring impact of Walker, Texas Ranger. Thank you for joining us on this nostalgic trip down the California highways with the remarkable Walker, Texas Ranger cast of yesteryear.